Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Once again, I'm Nev from Nev's Tech, but today we're taking a look at the Asus AX3000 Dual Band PCE AX58BT. Um, yeah, so PCIe fun time. This is one of two of the only systems that I can find right now, PCIe, that are brand name Wi-Fi 6. And Wi-Fi 6 is a big deal these days, you guys. Although, the difference between the speed in Wi-Fi 6 and 5 isn't as dramatic as Wi-Fi 4 and 5. So, we open it up, and of course we got a giant heat sink, but man! The other, the other brand is TP-Link, and it's red and red, but man, that looks nice. <clears throat> I, I just have a feeling this would show up better inside a PC, being black the way it is. Of course, it has a little stand for the antennas. Now, the white label version, you can get lots of white label versions, but Wise Tiger, which is the most popular white label version of any Wi-Fi 6 card right now, came with a little USB uh, for the drivers, which is really interesting. I mean, it's just big enough you can put all your furry prawns on it. And then, uh, yeah, you can hide it from your wife there. Anyways, let's slam this thing into a unit and give it a test and see how fast it goes. It claims that it can go, um, well, really, really fast, but these things usually go about one-tenth of the speed that it claims. Yeah, there's no way we're getting that speed. There's no way, but we might get one-tenth that speed. Okay, so this is my server system. I already have a Wi-Fi 6 card plugged into it, but I want to swap it over and use the brand name. So the other very popular Wi-Fi 6 card you can get is TP-Link, and I want to compare this to that. You can see the heat sink is definitely a lot smaller on the ASUS unit. So uh, there's the general difference in size. They're about the same size. Okay, we got her in there, snug as a bug in a rug. I don't think uh, many people know about this part. This is magnetized, man. So like, you can put that up high on something, and the magnets will help you keep it there, so you can keep it within range of the stream. All right, I got the battle stations fired up. It automatically found its drivers, and just like the other ones, it found uh, Wi-Fi 6 AX. This is an Intel AX chip inside. And all of my cards have this, so they should all perform equally, I guess. All right, so watch close. This is my godly router. This is where the magic happens. Over on the left is my Alexandrian backup that I have the new AX router card into it. Router card. And over here is where I do all my fun stuff, and I already have the TP-Link antenna connected to it. Anyways... Let's do a transfer from one system to another, and we'll see the top speed that we can get. Okay, uh, hold on, wait a sec. It automatically picked up. It automatically picked up uh, the Wi-Fi. The password is already within it. I swapped the cards, and it remembered the Wi-Fi. That is interesting. I'm pretty sure that usually if I put a, a different Wi-Fi card in, USB at least, then it won't do that, it won't remember, I can't believe it. That's awesome though. So it looks like that is the top speed that I can get with this card, at least with this Wi-Fi, or with this D-Link unit that I'm using. I expected uh, high 20s. I've gotten up to 30 before. Now, while I didn't get the speed that I was expecting to, you can probably partially blame that on the router. I need to get an ASUS AX router, and hopefully that'll be faster. Anyways, here we have my internet speed. Now, it should be said that my internet speed is not all that great compared to the AX Spectrum, and I'll probably never get that speed until I got godly fiber to the home. But as far as internet speed goes, this will take down as much internet as your system, as your provider will give you for the most part. 160,000 megabits is what we can transfer locally. So it would be great if my internet provider could give me that. And that's, imagine you could actually get that fast on the internet. That would be great. So if you want to get in specifics about the, how godly the router is, this is how it is. And it's just line of sight. I definitely think for the money I paid, it should be able to push out more speed than that. 
at the same time, it should be said that these aren't particularly bad numbers, really. Alright, so check this out. The only thing that I changed to get this result is I plugged one system in with a CAD6 cable directly to the router, and I'm getting 104, 104 megabytes a second over the Wi-Fi, over the AX. That's amazing. Sploosh, that makes me wet. Mm, that is so cool. So once again, all that I had to do to get the, the difference here is plug one unit in to the network with CAD 5E at least. But seriously, this is so cool. It shows us that the load or how it will perform is going to be vastly different. If you get two systems on the Wi-Fi 5, it's immediately going to uh, nerf the speed of it by four times all right so the final verdict well i can tell you that asus makes really good products to begin with i can i can also tell you that all of these wi-fi ax cards that i have uh, purchased all seem to have the exact same chip on board in fact once again i swapped these out and it remembered the wi-fi and uh it didn't even realize it didn't even seem to realize it was a different board at all so all that these are are just silicon with a brand on them and they take in the intel wi-fi card and they slammed it in there and then they all did their own take on it basically so i believe that due to due to age due to heat and expansion the wise tiger one might break apart quicker um but they all seem to be basically the same thing except we get the rabbit ears on this, which is freaking great. And then we get a, a price difference of about 50 bucks. But still, Asus, they make really good Wi-Fi. They don't particularly make the best computers anymore. But the Wi-Fi is solid. I like it. Is it worth it? You can definitely find cheaper things. But this is the only black one that looks really good inside of a computer. And I'm going to keep using it in my system. The Wise Tiger is going to be passed on to the next one, so... Uh, I'd say you're probably going to get the same money if you get a TP link. Once again, it's all the same chip on the inside. But that's it from me, folks. Like and subscribe if you like this stuff. It's always appreciated. And folks, take care of each other, please.